The Nitro question is going to be in the spirit of the show, revolving around flipping. Today's sponsor for the Nitro question is Denise Edenhopper from Fidelity Homeward. If and when you have had a project that you were in and you felt, oh boy, oh, we yeah. really botched this thing up. I'm afraid how I'm even going to break this news to, you know, hopefully you were on your own, so at least you only hurt yourself. But if you had investors, I mean, we want to know the story. Yeah, have you ever so, been in too deep? And Yes, yes. How could you prevent that from happening? Um, Tell us the whole story. I was flipping homes, had not gotten into multi-unit yet, and I came across an opportunity of a 16-unit building. Oh, this uh, is getting wow. good already. Yeah. 16 units. Yeah. I heard the story. Yeah. 16 so, candles. you know, I was like, cha-ching, this is going to be great. And all of a sudden, you started seeing the market crash. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> I should have like, said oh. without counting a market crash. Everybody's had that story. Oh. But we'll take it. Let's do units. it. Let's that take was it. a big Let's deal. Yeah. Right? No, so, you're right. Uh, and I was only halfway through it. So long story short, for this particular uh, situation, I was not looking to become a landlord uh, for 16 units on this uh, particular uh, property. So I landed up carrying that property for, gosh, my wife knows the exact numbers because I was miserable, but that was like for nine years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was a I'm hurting for you. 16 is a lot of people. It's a lot yeah. of... A lot of families, that's a, lot a lot of stress, of yes. property management. Yes. But then also, right, this is a good story because that means that regardless of what happens with the outcome, be prepared to become a landlord. Be, be prepared to keep that pro property. Well, you know, right. and it was a huge, huge learning experience for me, right? I learned so much off of that, so it, it really has geared to what I do now.